Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are, it's beautiful. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where people hold Bitcoin and say "bam" a lot of times. It is bloody hot today. It's like 40 degrees here in uh, Portugal. We had a heat wave. It's really warm, so I'm going to keep it short. I need to save my energy for a sports day. My daughter organized a sports day today, so we are going to do some competition in the pool, blah, blah, blah. Guys, let's jump into the charts. Really, really cool charts. Two charts that show you exactly who's holding with Bitcoins, but also some other charts that you need to see on this beautiful Sunday morning. Let's jump into the charts. Bam. over here guys just keeping you up to date very shortly here on the bam bam indicator and the four hour chart in bitcoin you can see in the four hour chart that we exactly pulled back to that green line over there this green line can i show you this yes i can show you this this green line is the 50 moving average so the 50 moving average is forming support now for that pullback of bitcoin and um, it was that a valid short call would i have taken the short call no i wouldn't have because in my opinion to take the short we need to have some confirmations yes that is a confirmation the closing down below is a confirmation but there is a lot of greenish still at that moment the red line is on top that was positive but the yellow is only starting over here and the bam already crossed over there so it's like mixed signals i don't know i feel too bullish to take a short so for me that wasn't a complete valid short on the four hour but maybe it was on the one hour guys so it depends on which time frame that you're uh, trading and how much time you spend to the screen um, to take which chart and which you see in a short in the one hour was a good short because in the one hour we had a short flag candle closing down below red line on top we have the huge yellow and blue starting over there and we have the bam bam crossing all in line one two three four five indicators telling us to short in the one hour and that would have been a nice short all the way to there 2.3 percent that would have been a beautiful morning yes um, guys that is how the bam bam works now if you want to trade the bam bam then please go down below this video and see all the links if you want to trade using femax you get a 1200 dollars bonus at the moment huge bonus prime xbt a 50 percent bonus and buy bit a sixteen hundred ten dollar bonus plus some merch or something like that guys and we trade up the moment for example on machine trader and also on oryx platform that is where the indicators are on the oryx platform really cool so you have a lot of possibilities like you can see this is the oryx platform i'm trading here i'm going now here i can see all the stuff i want to see i can add widgets i can delete widgets i can open this chart and then check okay yes there's the 200 day moving average yes we are finding still above it beautiful let's jump into the next chart bam over here not making too much promotions for myself but on this one you can see that it's a four hour chart but the line this red one is a 200 day moving average so the line is from the day chart while the candles are from the four hour chart and you can see that if we would fall down we could fall down to 45,266 which would be the 200 day moving average and then we should bounce up from there uh, that would be just a healthy move in bitcoin like this and then we would have a low a higher low another higher low we would have a high a higher high another higher high and then we would should be going for another higher high that is how bitcoin mostly moves in these bullish patterns bam what else guys um yes i have two more charts really cool charts but before i share those charts please this month on the 20th of august i will be in lisbon on this event it's a free event it's a free nft event organized by niftify.io it's a really cool nft project that you need to take a look at it's really cool i'm going to be there at that uh, event there is going to be a breakfast there's going to be an nft education i'm going to talk about the bitcoin family maybe even about the bitcoin hotel in mexico maybe even about the blockchain village that we are a uh, project we are having here now in portugal as well so uh, join me the 20th of august niftify this is the project really cool project they have an, am an amazing team um, just check them guys check them out niftify.io you see the whole team over here it's a beautiful team with a lot of 
talent in it uh, and they are going to create I think a small revolution in the NFT world because I know to which famous people they already are talking that will launch some NFTs that will launch the NFTs on this platform guys so free event you can book it here on eventbrite.com you can just search Netify Portugal and you will see it's a free event. Okay, guys, that was that. That was the promotion of the day. <laughs> mm, commercial, did he? No, now we jump into the bam. Another two cool images. I already showed these images yesterday, but I want to take a look at them again because they are now updated. And updated means, one more time, if you look at where the big amounts of bitcoins are at the moment moment this yellow line is all ETFs and corporates together which is around 850,000 the red line is all the ETFs which is around 650,000 this one over there so 650,000 bitcoins held by ETFs and in, to in total 850 held by uh, corporates and ETFs now if we want to zoom in to which corporates are holding Bitcoin Bam! Again, I'm going to show that because I really think it's interesting to see the development um, and the shifting of Bitcoin holdings from like retail investors now to corporates. That is why I'm doing it, just to show you how big the shift is. And we can see that there is 180,000 Bitcoins held by corporates, of which MicroStrategy has 105,000 Bitcoins, Tesla 37,000 bitcoins, Galaxy Digital 12,000 bitcoins, Square um, is around 8,000 bitcoins, and, and Marathon Digital 6,000, Coinbase has 4,000, um, and you can see the rest of the list. They all have a shitload of bitcoin. And again, I think it's very important to understand that this list will become longer and longer and longer. There are going to be more corporates, that, uh, more companies that add Bitcoin to their treasuries, which means those Bitcoins will be locked up, which again means, guys, that bam, the total amount of Bitcoin that are there in the market to be tradable will become less and less and less because these companies are taking this game to the long term game. They are locking up the Bitcoins in their corporate treasuries to keep them for a long time and the less bitcoins are available for the traders the more demand there will be the higher the price will go so that is in my opinion the four-year cycle which will be a very long cycle maybe even not even see this pullback again of 90 percent but only small pullbacks and just keep increasing in price because of the game of offer and demand guys that was everything for this beautiful sunday morning from portugal bam and i wish you an amazing sunday i am doing a dutch and an english ama today because i forgot the dutch yesterday it was a really busy day i had a beautiful day on a lake flight boarding for the first time i will make a video on that i flight boarded flight boarded not surfed i flight boarded the waves first time in my life really awesome event um, and maybe i'm going to buy a flyboard of the next profit i make with crypto but let's see um, i wish you a beautiful sunday if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell uh, twice <laughs> and please leave a comment what do you think about these charts what do you think about this sunday are you joining me at the niftify event in lisbon because afterwards we of course will have a drink and a chat about life as well thanks for watching see you later or tomorrow again mm -hmm. yes indeed bam